a novena of prayer to Our Lady of Sorrows. The first day. The Sorrowful Hail Mary Hail Mary, full of sorrows, the crucified is with thee. Thou art pitiable amongst women, and pitiable is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of the Crucified, implore for us, the crucifiers of thy Son, tears of contrition now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In this novena, we contemplate the seven dolors, or sorrows, of Our Lady, and ask through her prayers for a deeper devotion to the suffering of Jesus, our Redeemer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, Come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The First Sorrow The Prophecy of Simeon The Gospel according to St. Luke, Chapter 2 Verses 22 to 39. And after the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they carried him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male opening the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according as it is written in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon, and this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Ghost was in him. And he had received an answer from the Holy Ghost, that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when his parents had brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he also took him into his arms and blessed God and said, Now thou dost dismiss thy servant, O Lord, according to thy word in peace, because my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to the revelation of the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. And his father and mother were wondering at those things, which was spoken concerning him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and for the resurrection of many in Israel and for a sign which will be contradicted. And thy own soul a sword shall pierce that out of many hearts thoughts may be revealed. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asa. She was far advanced in years and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow until four score and four years who departed not from the temple, by fastings and prayers, serving night and day. Now she, at the same hour, coming in, confessed to the Lord, and spoke of him to all that looked for the redemption of Israel. 
and after they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee, to their city Nazareth. A reading from the mystical city of God by the Venerable Mary of Agreda, Chapter 20 of the Incarnation At the moment when the priest Simeon mentioned the sword and the sign of contradiction, which were prophetical of the passion and death of the Lord, the child bowed its head. Thereby, and by many interior acts of obedience, Jesus ratified the prophecy of the priest and accepted it as the sentence of the Eternal Father pronounced by his minister. All this the loving mother noticed and understood. She presently began to feel the sorrow predicted by Simeon, and thus in advance she was wounded by the sword of which she had thus been warned. As in a mirror her spirit was made to see all the mysteries included in this prophecy, how her most holy son was to be the stone of stumbling, the perdition of the unbelievers, and the salvation of the faithful, the fall of the synagogue, and the establishment of the church among the heathens. She foresaw the triumph to be gained over the devils and over death, but also that a great price was to be paid for it, namely the frightful agony and death of the cross. She foresaw the boundless opposition and contradiction which the Lord Jesus was to sustain both personally and in his church. At the same time, she also saw the glory and excellence of the predestined souls. Most Holy Mary knew it all, and in the joy and sorrow of her most pure soul, excited by the prophecies of Simeon and these hidden mysteries, she performed heroic acts of virtue. All these sayings and happenings were indelibly impressed upon her memory, and of all that she understood and experienced, she forgot not the least iota. At all times, she looked upon her most holy son with such a living sorrow as we, mere human creatures with hearts so full of ingratitude, shall never be able to feel. The holy spouse Saint Joseph was by these prophecies also made to see many of the mysteries of the redemption and of the labours and sufferings of Jesus. But the Lord did not reveal them to him so copiously and openly as they were perceived and understood by his heavenly spouse. For in him these revelations were to serve a different purpose. And besides, Saint Joseph was not to be an eyewitness of them during his mortal life. The ceremony of the presentation thus being over, the great lady kissed the hand of the priest and again asked his blessing. The same she did also to Anna, her former teacher, for her dignity as mother of God, the highest possible to angels or men, did not prevent her from these acts of deepest humility. Then, in the company of Saint Joseph, her spouse, and of the 14,000 angels in procession. She returned with the divine infant to her lodging. They remained for some days in Jerusalem in order to satisfy their devotion, and during that time she spoke a few times with the priest about the mysteries of the redemption and of the prophecies above mentioned. Although the words of the most prudent virgin mother were few, measured and reserved, they were also so weighty and full of wisdom that they filled the priest with wonder 
and excited in him the most exalted and the sweetest sentiments of joy in his soul. On this first day of the Novena to Our Lady of Sorrows, we pray one Our Father and seven Hail Marys while meditating on the first sorrow, the prophecy of Simeon. I grieve for thee, O Mary, most sorrowful, in the affliction of thy tender heart, at the prophecy of the holy and aged Simeon. Dear Mother, by thy heart so afflicted, obtain for me the virtue of humility and the gift of the holy fear of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O sorrowful Mother, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.